Now let's do the same thing, but this time let's create a hot water system. So I'm going to, again, select all of my plumbing fixtures. So I'm just going to highlight them all right here. Now I went ahead and accidentally connect, uh, selected the piping as well. So I actually need to remove that from my selection. So a handy tool is to use this filter button up here. If I click this button, I can go ahead and say, I don't want to select the pipes and I don't want to select the pipe fittings. So I'm going to deselect those and click OK. And now I only have my plumbing fixtures selected. So I'm going to go ahead and again create a piping system. And this time I'm going to create a hot water system. We're going to click OK. And then we need to select the correct connector. So I'm going to use the second one again for each fixture, just like that. And now that that system has been created, we'll click into our 3D view and we're going to generate another layout. And this time it's using the hot water system. So maybe we want the hot water to be a little lower than our cold water system. So we can also set the elevation right here. So maybe I just temporarily set that to eight foot six. So I'm going to use eight space six and we'll do the same thing for the branch eight space six. Click OK. And now you can see it dropped my piping a little bit lower and we can simply just finish this off. And now you can see Revit has automatically created this cold water system for me. So one thing I'm noticing is I don't know if my pipe types are correct. So I need to make sure it's on the right system. So I'm going to click piping systems and you can see that the piping system is in fact cold water. And then for the hot water, I want to make sure that this system is correct and you can see it is correct. It says hot water. So that is looking great. Now I want to connect this piece into maybe a hot water main. So let's actually um, go ahead and start a water heater in the water service room so we can connect all of our hot water to it. So again, I have a water heater in my template. You can see if I zoom out in the template file, you can see I have these really cool water heaters right here that are already piped up for us. And so what I can do is I can use, use these uh, pre-piped water here to make you know things a little faster. So what I could do is I've already pasted this into my project. So I'm going to go ahead and back to my project. I'm going to go down to the bottom where all the groups live. I'm going to click plus. I'm going to click into the model groups. And you can see I have this MEP guy water heater group. I'm just going to drag that into my view and we're just going to click some space right here. And as you can see all of those water heaters come into my project. Now I don't need all of them so what we're going to do is we're going to click and we're going to ungroup them. Now maybe I want to use this big one right here. If I click on it you can see it's 120 gallons. So let's go ahead and just start with that one. So I'm going to delete the rest and now we're going to move this water heater right into this space right here. Now I want to rotate this so I'm going to go ahead and click on the rotate command up here. We're going to move this point to the middle just like that. And then let's just go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees. That looks great. Now we have this hot water line right here. And what we are going to do from this line, we're going to maybe route it to the north. I want to make sure it's on the correct system. So you can see it's already hot water. So that looks great. So let's pull this over and let's right click and draw pipe. And I'm going to draw all the way up to this point and all the way across to that point. That looks great. Now we might want to make this uh, piping a little bit bigger so we could just tab into it and we selected all of it now and maybe we can make this one inch. Let's just make it a little bit bigger. So that's just, this is looking great and I also need to make sure I connect my hot or my cold water to this main right here. So we want to make sure it's at the same elevation right here. It's at nine feet so we can easily connect it right into here. We could just drag it or we can use this cool command up here called trim extend single element and I have a shortcut for that for TTR. So if I click this button and I click this main and I click this pipe, I will automatically get that connection to be made, which is very nice. So now if I want to move my water heater, I can easily move it. So I can actually just move it to the corner right here if I really wanted to. And maybe I could also move my uh, piping up here. If I wanted to move it over in this, this part of the project, I could easily do that because it's Revit and I can easily make adjustments as I see fit. So I can do a lot of cool things once things are all connected. And this is really what you should be focusing on when you're modeling in Revit. You want to use content that allows you to make changes in the future.